the statements made in the Bible of an astronomical nature that could not possibly have been known for the people in the culture in which they live, and yet today we know they are accurate. Now, I want to emphasize something here. I'm not suggesting to you that Bible writers sat down and said, now let's reveal something scientific. Now, now what I'm saying to you is when a statement is made that is scientifically checkable, it always turns out to be correct. Now, let, let me give you an illustration of what I'm trying to convey. In Luke 17, there is an event that takes place. Now, we won't worry about the event right here. We, we just want to look at the scientific implications of the event. And so to start out with, in verse 31, the writer says, In that day, so this is a daytime activity, he which shall be up on the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down and take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not turn back. So this is clearly a daytime activity. But then you turn over a couple of more verses describing the same event. And the writer says, I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed. One should be taken, the other shall be left. Well, now that's obviously a nighttime activity. It says it's at night, and it gives nighttime activities, being in bed. But then if you go on to the next two verses, two women shall be grinding together. One shall be taken, the other shall be left. Two men shall be in the field. One shall be taken, the other left. They don't have John Deere tractors at the time this is written. That's daytime activities. There is a constant movement backwards between daytime and nighttime. And I suggest to you that the only way this can make any sense at all is for the author to have understood that daytime and nighttime occur at the same time. 